I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and today we have some sparkling sippers to share with you in preparation for New Year's Eve. We're going to show you how to make a Cure Royale, a strawberry bellini, and two non-alcoholic bellinis with strawberry and blackberry. So let's go see how we make these. go ahead and we're going to teach you how to make two regular champagne style cocktails or sparkling sippers and we're also going to do two non-alcoholic sparkling sippers. We're going to use a really nice Hungarian sparkling wine. This is a Moscato based sparkling wine and this is from Hungary and we're going to use ginger ale for the non-alcoholic. The first thing that I want to show you how to do is make the strawberry sauce that we're going to use for our Bellini. Now you can see that I have about a cup or so of fresh strawberries that I have washed and hauled in my little container for my, shake, my milkshake blender. I'm going to add a shot, which is two ounces of simple syrup. If you don't have simple syrup, don't worry. You can just throw in two tablespoons of granulated sugar and two tablespoons of water. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to blitz this until it's smooth. All right, now our strawberries are all nicely blitzed up. And what you want to do, you just want to make sure you get those seeds out of there. So I just like to run it through a sieve. So I'm just going to go ahead, pour that through a little strainer, and just use my spoon and move it back and forth until we get all of the solids. We, we're passing the juice through and we're keeping the solids in the strainer so we have a nice, clean, smooth sauce. Now, what you end up with is just a little bit of fruit puree, and this is how we're going to start our blini. Now, a blini is typically made with Prosecco, which is an Italian-style champagne, because the only kind of champagne that can be called champagne comes from the Champagne region of France and is made with champagne grapes. Everything else is sparkling wine, and Prosecco is what is from Italy, and it's delicious, and it can be either a Moscato grape, which is a sweet Muscat grape, or it can be made with a drier grape. Um, I do not like dry wine. I am not a big fan of that. So this Hungarian Moscato sparkling wine is really perfect for me. So I'm going to go ahead and finish straining this, and we'll be right back, and we'll make our blinis. All right, we're going to make ourselves a strawberry blini, and what you're going to do is you're just going to put a couple of spoonfuls of this pureed fruit in the bottom of your glass. Now, I don't have any champagne flutes, but that's not going to stop me from enjoying this. So I just got out these really pretty glasses that I have. And all you have to do now is top this off with a little sparkling wine, and you let the bubbles do all the work. It's going to mix that up for you, and it's going to be gorgeous, and the strawberries are going to add color, and it's going to be absolutely beautiful. You serve that at a brunch, you serve it for New Year's Eve, it's going to be fantastic. Now, I want to make you a non-alcoholic blackberry blini. So what we're going to do is the same thing. We're going to take some blackberry puree that I made earlier, same way. The seeds in the blackberries are a little bit larger, so they take a little bit more effort to get through that sieve, but it's all good. Then I'm going to take some ginger ale, and we're just going to pour it on top like we did the sparkling wine, and make a lovely beverage for anybody who happens to be a teetotaler, or maybe for your kids. And that's going to be absolutely wonderful. I'm going to do a strawberry non-alcoholic blini. Same thing. And top it off with some ginger ale. And wait for it to subside. And then we'll fill it up with even more ginger ale. This is just a fun alternative, and then everybody gets to be included in the festiveness of the evening. And if you really want to, 
you can go ahead and pop in a couple of berries into those drinks or you can stick one on the rim like that. A Key Royale is a French cocktail that starts with cream de cassis and this is a liqueur made with black currants. So you're going to put about one ounce in the bottom of your glass. And for you that's half a shot. And then I'm going to pop a couple of blackberries in the bottom just for fun. And then we're going to top that off with our champagne or our sparkling wine. And it's going to mix itself. Four beautiful sparkling sipper cocktails that you can make that are super easy and you probably have some of these things in your pantry and in your refrigerator already. The berries, you can do whatever flavor you want. Do you like peach? Do you like um, cantaloupe or watermelon? You can actually make blinis with just about any fruit you can think of. All you have to do is make the sauce. The Cure Royale is a traditional French cocktail using creme de cassis and sparkling wine or champagne, whatever you have. And then we have the non-alcoholic strawberry blini using ginger ale. And then the non-alcoholic blackberry blini using ginger ale as well. And then the traditional strawberry blini using sparkling wine and the strawberry puree that we made. I'm going to take a sip of this one. Oh, that's delicious. These are great for New Year's Eve. They're great for a brunch. They're great for just about any occasion. I hope you give them a try. Just something fun and festive to share with you this new year. I hope that you all have a safe and happy new year. Please do not drink and drive, and please know your limits. I hope that you give these a try, and I hope that you love them, and I hope that you have an amazing 2016. Until next time, I'll see ya. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you liked what you watched today, and I hope that you try it, and I hope that you love it. Um, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, 